Good morning. My name is Claudia. This is my Wonderless Canino. Good morning. Welcome to my channel. Um, today is Friday, October the 13th. Day 28 on the Camino de Santiago, Frances. I'm in Samos. It is 6, 10 a.m. It is mild, 20 degrees. Uh, it's going to get the temperature is going to drop down to 15. Um, I am going to Puerto Marine. I know if you heard that right, Puerto Marine. I think it's 30 something. Anyways, uh, let's get going. We'll chat in a bit. I see someone leaving, so I'm going to hitch a ride with them. Walk behind them, I mean. We'll talk later. Says it's 20 degrees and yeah, it feels really warm, like really mild, but it's really windy and the wind is warm too. And there's two problems ahead of me. I think I heard a few behind me too. Everyone wants to get a start because it's supposed to start raining soon. I had to rejig my bag and put my rain gear to the top. I am good to go. Uh, my socks yesterday didn't dry. So I'm wearing my ankle socks that I haven't worn yet. Darn tough ankle socks. Yeah, so I have no socks to change into for the day unless I pop in somewhere and dry them. Chat soon. Okay. It is 8 10. We're still walking out of Salmos. It's been mostly walking in uh, forests, uh, a lot of uh, hills. So steep inclines, then rolling down, and then up again. It's been like that for two hours. I'm at nine kilometers. Should be getting close to Saria. Uh, sorry, let me turn off the light. Uh, yeah, eight o'clock. Eight ten. That's what it's like. Um, hasn't started raining yet, but you can feel it's coming. Uh, there's lots of cloud coverage. Um, usually by this time, it's, we're going to have to walk uh, without our headlamps, but it's still pretty, pretty dark out. I mean, we should be close to Saria. So far, no town. We've walked by no town. So last night, as I was editing the video, I realized I didn't do a recap. And I was so tired that I didn't feel like doing a recap. So let's do a recap of yesterday. Yesterday, I walked from Linares to Samos. Uh, I think, now I can't remember, was it 28 kilometers? 28.5, I think. Um, some steep uphills like to Alto do Pollo. It was very steep. And then we had some uh, like going downhill and just rolling hills. Um, it wasn't too hot yesterday. It was actually like nice and cool. Uh, total spent for the day, it was 55 to stay at uh, Casa Botica. Um, it was 
20 euros for the steak dinner, uh, 5 euros the pilgrim's entrance to the monastery. I'm trying to remember. Uh, and then I think I spent another 10 euros on like the two breakfasts and uh, I think that was it. Oh, some snacks at the grocery store for today. I got an apple, water, and yogurt. I got a yogurt. And that is all. Yeah, that was the recap for yesterday. Um, Samos is really beautiful. I loved staying at Casa Platica. I mean, you saw my view. Pretty incredible. 55 euros isn't bad, but I think that was just for a single. They only made the one bed for me. Um, but I would definitely stay there again. The water was good water pressure and it was hot and I had such a good night's sleep. Um, yeah, I would definitely stay there again. And you could have had breakfast, but the breakfast was at 8 a.m. And that was, I mean, I'm almost in Saria. And I have, I think I have 33 KMs today to Puerto Marie. So after, yeah, so, so I think after Saria, I have another 20 km, which should be fine because uh, I should be in Saria by nine, take about a half hour break, and then I'll have 20 kilometers to do. Should be okay. So that was the closing for yesterday, the recap. Okay, I'm ready to Saria. It's 9.07, almost 14 kilometers walked, that three hours. Uh, is that right? No, I think it's, I think it's the next fall. It's really windy. Um, oh my God, Jesus, huh? Um, yeah, so we're in Saria. Uh, hasn't started raining yet, just like a light mist. Not like when we were in Boston, Watson. Um, really windy. Temperature's still mild. Uh, it looks like the rain is coming. I haven't put on my rain gear at all. I just want to get somewhere, have some breakfast, and then get going. But it'll probably be in the rain. I stopped at I think the second place I saw open and uh, I had a cafe con leche and a croissant and the cafe con leche was okay but the croissant was day old like dry from probably not even from yesterday because yesterday was a holiday so, and then I get out, I get out, buenos dias, gracias, I get out, and there's a panaderia right, like, around, on the other side of the building, and they had fresh croissants. I'm like, really? You couldn't have gone out to buy fresh croissants? and reuse those to make like bread pudding or whatever. Ugh, I was annoyed. I was looking forward to a nice fresh croissant. And the thing was, I could smell, I could smell like, you know, freshly baked croissants. So I thought, oh, okay, I'm gonna have some good croissants. Nope, nope. Uh, I'm gonna stop somewhere else. Uh, I'll have another coffee <laughs> and try again for the croissant or something else. Um, I already put my rain gear on. Uh, so, I uh, just the jacket, not the pants. I think I'm going to not put on the pants. I'm just going to wear the jacket. And I put rain cover on my um, pack. All right. Walking on. So if you're taking the bike or a horse, somebody put little eyes on the horse. You go this way. But if you're walking, no, no, no. If you're walking, 
take the stairs because you know you don't already have it hard enough so I just gotta take some stairs okay, I found another place with warm croissants I asked her are your croissants fresh she's like they're from today I'm like okay I want to make sure before I sit down so I had my cafe con leche and I want to thank Lloyd Lloyd Thank you for my cafe con leche. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, it started to rain. Uh, it's coming down quite good, and it's windy. Uh, I have the like I'm debating: do I put on my rain pants? Do I not put on my rain pants? Like if I put on my rain pants, do, am I gonna get really hot? I think I'm gonna put on the rain pants. Because it looks like it's gonna rain for a while and I don't want to I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Although when I crossed the Pyrenees I didn't put on the rain pants and I was fine. Because my shorts dry fast. And I do have another pair of shorts. I just don't have another pair of socks. And that is the problem. Because if I had another pair of socks, then I could put them on. So I don't know. What do you say? Yeah. Okay, enough lollygagging. Let's get going. No, it's okay. Gracias. raining quite steady rain got to the top no rain and it's windy hard to explain but it's warm it feels warm well I have the coat on too I'm glad I didn't put on the rain pants uh, walking through that forest Ooh, it was quite toasty um, I don't really need the rain jacket do I want to stop and take it off uh, I just want to keep going, but I'm hot. I'm all sweaty underneath it. So I think I might stop, take it off. Ugh. <laughs> getting closer, getting closer. There's a baby. Where's your baby? to rain pretty hard now, but we're sort of, um, have this canopy of trees and I'm holding off the rain. Look how pretty. Just we're getting close to the 100 mile mark. Five hours and ten minutes walk, 23 kilometers. I have, it's telling me I have 14 kilometers to go. So obviously, excuse me, obviously it lied to me because it said, the Buen Camino said it was going to be 33 kilometers total for the day. But if I already done 22 plus another 14, that's 36. So an extra three kilometers. So tomorrow I'm supposed to do 39 kilometers. Is that lying to me too? And I'll do a 40 tomorrow? Anyways, it's drizzling. Um, yeah, it's drizzling. What else? I should be coming up to a little town soon. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to stop or if I'm going to keep going. The mile marker said it's 106 kilometers to Santiago, so I have another six kilometers for the 100 mile 
marker. All right. <laughs> I completely uh, forgot to film the 100 kilometer mile marker. Uh, I was chatting with Tim from Buffalo and uh, completely, I, we took pictures of each other, but um, I didn't film. But I'm going to put the picture here. Um, it's starting to rain again and I have four kilometers left. Tim just stopped at a bar to have a drink and uh, I'm gonna keep going. I'm assuming that's Porto Marine. Yay! You did it! You did it! Uh, 33 and a half kilometers means another three kilometers to go. I read the instructions on the Buen Camino app. There's three routes into Puerto Marine and I'm still a bit confused. I'm trying not to take the original route um, with those boulders going down. And they said to avoid that if it's raining and although it's not raining right now um, it's like misting so I rather not slip down um, those rocks so I'm trying to figure out where to go I'll show you when I get there I just need, I just want to get to Puerto Marine. I just want to get there. It is 310. I think I might have like another two kilometers to go. This is the, that's the historic route. And that's the one that goes down that rocky path. Uh, this way, historic rocky path. This way, just continues along the road not so terrible. Here we are, Puerto Mi Marine, Porto Marine. See that's the original bridge. That's a new bridge. Ah. Okay, let's see. It is. It's like 3.30. I've been walking for 8 hours and 7 minutes. 36.73 kilometers. Google tells me it's another kilometer to my albergue. Just gotta cross the river and then I think it's up the hill. This is the entrance to Puerto Marie. That's how they want you to finish it. Go up the stairs. You can also go around where the cars go and go up that way. But I guess it takes you longer. And it's raining a bit harder now. Did it. I just 
have to do these ones. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Puerto Marie. Estrella, those disasters. I think my alberg is around here. I wanted to get a pair of insoles. I don't know if this town is big enough to have a pilgrim store. Okay, I see my old burgate. Altria, this is me. Of course, at the top of the hill, that to be me. This is my room. I got a single 35 euros. And then I share bathroom. There is three showers. Oh, no, two showers, two toilets, and oh, um, yeah, eight hours and twenty minutes. Uh, thirty-seven. Hi. Uh, what is it? Thirty-seven point five. And I'm trying to look at my watch. Um, eight hours and 22. <sighs> Shower. Laundry. She said it's three euros to wash. I just need a dryer too. I <laughs> stink. I stink. I need to shower. And then I need to figure out dinner. Just after the washroom, um, they have a washing machine and a dryer. Three to wash, four to dry. <sighs> So happy. I'm gonna wash all my socks and my clothes. They're really stinky. Um, and then I'll dry them. They won't need much. I'm so happy. 20 minutes to wash. Yay! I already showered and uh, it's not raining now. I gotta figure out my dinner. Judy's here and she's like, you're here? I'm like, yeah. She's like, where did you come from? How come you're only getting here now? Because it was 3.30 and I said, I came from Samos. And the woman <laughs> checking me and she's like, oh, what? And after that, she was like, oh my God, come, come, you know, she's like all thing. Uh, but yeah, uh, knees are good. Feet are okay. I think it is a blister, but I put moleskin on it and then QT tape. Um, so I'm just going to leave it alone. I would like to get uh, some insoles for tomorrow. So we'll see if I can figure out where to go. Squid stew. Mm -hmm. A little steak with fries. Hello from Porto Marine. Today, let's do a recap of today. Um, I Today I walked from Samos to Porto Marine. And ended up being 37 and a half kilometers. So maybe the Buen Camino app lied to me. I don't know. I was only supposed to be 36. Anyways. Um, it rained on and off most morning. But it wasn't like a heavy rain. Sometimes it was heavy. Sometimes it wasn't. But it was also warm. So I mostly, I kept my shorts. I didn't put uh, my rain pants on and I was fine. I wasn't cold. And then I just had a t-shirt and my rain jacket. I would take, you know, put on, take off, put on, take off. Depend on how heavy the rain was. Um, yeah, the walk was fine. My knees were okay. Uh, there were some steep downhills coming into Puerto Murray. Um, my foot with the blister or whatever. I actually think it is a blister. This morning I put some moleskin on it and uh, KT tape over. And then in the sock I had lamb's wool like to cushion the back. Um, at first I it was like bothering me, not in pain, just I was aware of it. And then after a while it just, I forgot about it. Um, and it was fine during the day. Just after, I think, like 27 kilometers, my feet just 
get really tired and I think that's just because my shoes are so worn out. Um, I did get, when I got into Porto Marine, I went to two different stores to see if they had insoles and they didn't really have any sports insoles. I should have probably checked in Saria and I didn't. Um, it is raining right now and it's chilly. I think tomorrow temps are only going to get to 16, but no rain. Rain in the morning and then I think it's supposed to stop at 5 or at 6 a.m., which is great. Uh, I didn't even calculate total cost yet for today. Um, it was 35 to stay here. It's an albergue, but I have a private room with a shared bathroom. Um, and then for dinner, I just paid 17. I'm trying to remember. Uh, I think the two times I had croissants, it was croissant and coffee. It was four euros each. So that's eight. Uh, and then it was, um, three euros to wash and I only put in two euros in the dryer and it started working and that was enough. I mean, my clothes, my socks are not, they're about 80% dry. I'm sure they'll be fine for tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is another big day. Um, the goal is to get to Malidi. It's 39. I should be okay. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm going to, try to get an early start tomorrow morning and uh, I'll check in with you guys. That's all for tonight. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.